In this video we are going to talk about how to plan in Scrum Desk Start. To plan what you need to do is to click a plan menu items which is in the left menu bar. Then you will see view that is split into three areas. The first area is a list of all your releases and sprints you have in your product. The second and third pane are for displaying the content of particular sprint or release. As you can see we have a, an empty list of releases. So let's create a new release as a first. I'm going to press plus button at the top. Now let's enter the name of the release. It will be just the release 1. And you can also provide the goal for a particular release and also the day when you would like to deliver this release out to your customers. When you will create new release, you will see just an empty icebox here. Well, the icebox is just a heap of requirements which are planned for particular release, but they are not assigned to any sprint yet. So let's say that we have our backlog and we ha have release. I would like to plan some user stories from the backlog to particular release. To do so, what I need to do is to just drag icebox from the backlog. Now you see in the panel the content of the product backlog. And now I'm going to drag a release one icebox to the second panel. And as you can see, it's empty right now. So, to assign a card to a release, you, what you need to do is to just drag it around. You can imagine this as two boards and you are just dragging physical card from the board of product backlog to the board of particular release. This release can be changed also in details where you can choose the release and what you will see is just another card which has been moved from the backlog to the release one. Of course if you do not want to have them just move the cards around. That way you can very quickly move cards from your backlog especially if you will group them by different attributes you can uh, focus on different epics, different themes and uh, that way you can very quickly fill up your releases. But that is not, is not enough. Uh, in Scrum you need to work in uh, multiple sprints. So let's create a new sprint. Of course it will sprint one. And once the sprint is created you will see again an empty box, but this empty box is under the release one, so that way you can have an hierarchy in your backlog. Now we wish to plan some user stories from that release into particular sprint. What you can do is to display the fourth crewman and drag a sprint there and just drag the card to sprint. Some product owners even prefer to plan two releases at the same time one release which is far in the future and another release which is the current release and the current sprint and some even prefer to plan even the next sprint at the same time so that way you can have possibility to plan the current sprint the sp one sprint ahead which is very short term maybe the current release which might be the mid-term and also to plan your long term for the next release and also for the product backlog. 